out here again. So what I'm going to start with is I basically got the frame level and to the rear end. I'm within a tenth of a degree. It's probably boring me showing you the angle finder over and over again, but anyway, I put the put the square across the same point. I measured the length up. I've got the truck shimmed, and now what I'm going to do is come in and make actual hard stops. They're not going to be rubber or nothing. They're going to be actually steel on steel. Um, so if the air ride gives out or when I let it down, it'll come down and never actually hit the ground if I lose an airline or whatever. So um, what we're going to do is weld these steel caps on these two inch tubes and then we're going to cut them and fit them and put in there and actually make uh, hard stops so it'll come down and hit that two inch tube and you'll be able to drive it slow speed or drive off the road if it happens but uh, we don't want it to ever hit the ground two inches should be allow us to get it off the road if you did that with a rubber bumper um, it'll it would collapse or break over time and then we're so close to our pinion angle on the drive shaft that we don't we have no uh, play for that so if it loses air it'll come down on actual physical hard stops and you'll be able to creep off the side of the road now we're going to be you know five five and a half inches away from those hard stops um when we're actually driving with the airbag mounts up so we gotta get the hard stops in first and then move on. So here's the plates that are gonna be welded on. And I got them welded so this top will be able to be made smooth. So it'll be able to move back and forth the top of that axle onto this if it changes or if I need to adjust it later. So we're gonna weld this and then make weld and grind this top smooth. So I got two of them here and then we'll fit them in place. All right, so I got those hard stops ready to be welded on to the frame. So if, when these airbags fail or airline pops out, I won't be dragging the ground. I'll be able to get off the road. Also, I'll be able to set it down on, on this, let all the air out, and this will keep me from crushing that bag. So the bag has a lower limit that you're not able to go any under. So this allowed me to come down and not crush that bag. That's why we don't really want it as a soft mount, because that we, you know, we don't want that bag <clears throat> to um, get laid over and pinch, and then uh, you know we can't drive home. So we're gonna go ahead and weld these hard stops in, and uh, uh, then. Um, I'll probably go and either make the upper bag mounts or uh, put the fish plates on the outside of the frame. All right, I got the hard stops on the back here welded on. I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna weld the ones on the front. So in this area here is where the factory one was. It was just a piece of cast aluminum. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in and weld these half inch blocks onto the A-arm. And that's going to be our stop. Now these A-arms are going to be stiffened up later. So whenever you do these airbag mounts, they want you to, you know, they recommend, you know, all the guys that do this a lot to plate this bottom area to make this, instead of just being a stamping like it is, because the uh, air ride takes a lot more stress. So we'll probably end up torching the inside of this out and taking the coil bag mount out and um, putting a tube in this lower a arm is going to be modified quite a bit probably so uh, I'm going to go ahead and weld the stops on now and then we'll have all the, all the car at least where it'll roll all right all right I've cocked the wheel over all the way to make sure that there's plenty of clearance in there for that stop and to get full lock on the wheel so we're not power racks not having a problem right there so uh, 
we'll be able to weld that stop in just like that and grab the whole face of this you know get a big chunk of it there I'm gonna go ahead and weld the stop in now all right I got the hard stops welded on here and uh, basically if I lose an airline or whatever I'll at least be able to drive off the side of the road with that two inches of ground clearance that I got. And uh, I got both of them welded on. Can't really see it very well. But anyway, that's done. Alright, so we got all the stops welded in now. I got them uh, welded on there where the factory ones were. So now the truck can roll without any problems. And that lowest position that it's got. So we're up off the ground. We're close enough to the ground. It looks cool. And uh, if I blow an airline or blow a you know, blow a bag out, I'll at least be able to creep off to the side of the road. Alright, I think I'll just go ahead and post this video up now and, and then move on to something else. It, it's easier to load them that way. Alright, if you like this kind of stuff, check back in. Have a nice day.